dbt python models so you can see um, my dbt project yaml file all of my models will be tables here are two sql models to start our journey so let's go and build these two first So we created both of those tables. If we select from it, we can see ID1. And if we select from SQL bar, we can see ID1. Okay, so the reason for that is I wanted to show how we do that with Python instead. So I'm gonna bring this Python model iFu and hi bar. And let's get rid of this one. We no longer need it. So you can see here that there's just some stuff we need to import. Uh, and then specifically dbt python models have to return a data frame so that's what we're doing with the full version of the full python model and then in bar we're going to select from it um, just like we did for the sql stuff right okay let's go ahead and do that do pi full and pi So if we select from it, once those are done, yeah. so if I select from PyFu, then it's exactly the same as the SQL version and PyBar. It's nothing really to it, right? So essentially, this is the way of reproducing the previous two SQL models in a Python model instead nothing really to it um, you just have to return the data frame and you need this dev stuff it's all in the documentation now one of the reasons why you might want to use python models instead of sql models is that python models can import python packages so this is a more complex example um, here i'm configuring my python model so that there's this holidays package i'm going to import that holidays package and here is a string which is a date and I'm going to return a data frame where this date column should be this string. And then I'm using this holidays package to figure out what 1st of January is in the US here. Yeah. So let's see how that is. It's going to start and it's going to finish and then we can run it and you can see that first of january is a new year's day which is expected now if we look at the logs or the statements that this Python model sent to snowflake So you can see this simple Python file, um, dbt has actually wrapped it with a whole bunch of other boilerplate things. So we can kind of copy all this stuff here and run it directly in Snowflake. So if I B and paste this, um, and what I want to do is run this. Maybe it's like a warehouse, so analytics. And maybe let's change um, let's change the date here to February. So this is done. Now if we select from it. Now we see that you know we've changed it to February and the holiday is not a holiday, so this returns now. So it's nothing special about Python models. You essentially write some Python looking thing. DBT wraps it up 
did a whole bunch of other boilerplate stuff and sends it over to Snowflake and it creates a table and that's all there is to it. Thank you.